Hi, we are engineering brothers and I would like to start another subject which is very very important for our electrical, electronics branch and instrumentation branch and many other branches are there which is electrical and electronic instrumentation and measurement. So why do I take or why do I choose this subject over here because this subject is very very essential for us as an electrical engineer or as an instrumentation engineer or there are a lot of electrical connected or electronics connected uh, streams are there which is very very important and the subject is very very essential for all this type of streams over there that is why I have chosen uh, this one so what is measurement measurement means we need to find out another uh, quantity say the unknown values of resistance unknown values of inductance capacitance loss uh, factor storage factor and there are a lot of factors are there and uh, the measurement of power energy over here we usually used to find out the power or uh, the power by using the watt meter but we need to accurately find out that power, resistance or inductance, capacitance value well over here. So we have to use another separate device in order to understand or in order to uh, get the value or in order to get the characteristic of that parameter over here. That is why the measurement is very, very important for our overall well-beings. And this is very, very essential subject over here. That is why I have chosen uh, this subject over here. Though I have started uh, this subjects or this beautiful subjects by starting the ASU bridges, but I will complete the introduction portions uh, later. That will be better for me to rearrange my classes over here. But I have chosen the AC bridges circuit over here because this topic is very very important and popular for our electrical courses or electronics courses or any other courses though I cannot understand though I cannot satisfied by any other classes or any other YouTube videos and how do I explain these type of SO bridges is very, very important over here. That is why I have taken this challenge to understand or to give you the perfect answers or to give you the perfect way to understand or utilize this SO bridges over here. So what is, what is SO bridge? SO bridge is the identical form of SO bridge is the identical forms or is come from the Winston Bridge. A Winston Bridge is been applied or Winston Bridge is the same concept or equivalent concept with this AC bridges. Okay. So Winston Bridge is applied on DC bridges and instead of this detector we have used a galvanometer circuit in between this B and D point for our Winston Bridge. Okay. But for the Winston base, this Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, all these things are impedances. But for the Winston bridge, that is all these arms are resistance. So this one should be R1, R2, R3, and R4, and so on. Okay. So AC bridge is very, very important for us. We have used this first arm or Z1 arm to connect any unknown values of inductance or capacitance for this arm. We should connect the unknown resistance, sorry, the unknown resistance, inductance or capacitance for this arm and we need to adjust this uh, number 4 or Z4 arm to have the balance condition for the overall bridge circuit over here. I want to repeat this portion once again in order to understand or to get the value of unknown inductance capacitance or resistance value we should connect that unknown resistance inductance capacitance value in the z1 part okay and 
we have adjusted or we have varied the value of z4 by using some uh, variable circuits over there to get or to understand the value or to get the value in a balanced condition because we have thought or we have taken the bridge as a balanced condition after we have considered the bridge as a balanced condition then we can conclude the overall circuit of acid bridges over here so what is balanced balanced means the balanced means there is no current is flown through the detector circuit okay so if i do consider the here the current is say id so what is the balanced condition the balanced condition means the id is equal to zero okay so by using the current or the voltage equation over here we know that if we do consider the point b and point d in between these two point i have got the detector which is this one so this is our detector over here and what is the balance condition over here the balance condition means the current through this detector path which is id the which is is equal to zero okay so what is the exact significance of this line the exact significance of this line is the current is zero or the detector current is zero so what does that mean the voltage vv is equal to vd okay i know that if i have the greater voltage compared with the another point if i have thought the two point this is point a this is point b okay in between these two point here the voltage is va and here the point is point is vv okay and if i consider the value of va is greater compare with vb then the current is flown in this direction okay current is flown in this direction and in the another way if i take the vv as a greater value compared with our va okay so if i do consider the vv as a greater value compared with our va the current is flown in the opposite direction okay the current is flown in the opposite direction so this is the direction of our current over here so this is our direction of our current over here okay but for the same voltage or the same voltage drop in between the point b and d i can say that no current is flown over here so if i do consider that that this point is our b point over here this point is b and this point is say that this point is d okay and if i do consider that the vv or the v at point b pb or v is equal to vd pb or vd these two voltage are same then i can say that the id or the detector current which is nothing but the voltage difference which is vv minus vd okay as the current is flown in this way okay so the here the i have considered or i have taken that the voltage at this point is greater compared with this one so this is uh, by divided by resistance or rd or the path to the resistance path through this detector which is zero as the both this current are sorry the detector current is zero okay so the for this condition or for this consideration the voltage drop across these two point is same okay so this is our first fundamental relation over here okay so what is balanced balanced means there is no current is flown through this detector path over here so what is that means the value of voltage bb which is equal to vd okay so the next one is very simple over here so this is our balanced condition for our ac bridge circuit okay and i want to repeat this question once again what is balanced balanced means 
no current is thrown through this detector path over here as i know that if there is a voltage difference between the two point then we can say that the current is thrown in between these two point okay and as the detector current is zero so i should take that the voltage at point v and voltage at point d are same which is vv is equal to vd okay and if i do apply the kvl over here and if i take the source as a e or the total voltage is e okay so what is the current equation over here so the current is thrown in this way okay and i i should take the current is i okay and uh, the source or the voltage of the source is e okay and if i do apply the kvl for through this path so if i do consider the path as a or uh, a b path what is the equation the equation is our voltage which is e for this one the source voltage so e and for the ab path for this one the current is minus i1 z1 and the voltage is bv minus vv which is equal to zero okay so what is the value of total e over here the value of e will be i1 z1 plus vv okay so this is our first equation over here so this is our equation one okay similarly for our path ad so similarly for our path ad what is the equation for that one the equation is the voltage e and the current is thrown in this way which is minus i2 z2 and the voltage at point d is vd which is minus vd which is equal to zero okay and the after simplification i have got this is my formulation over here which is i2 z2 plus vd okay and this is our equation 2 over here i want to repeat this portion once again i have taken the source as a e and at point a you can see that the current has divided into two path one path is ab and one path is ad if i take the kvl for the ad path what is the equation the equation is e minus i1 z1 and the voltage at point b is vv which is minus vv is equal to zero and i have rearranged this equation over here and for the second path for the path ad if i do apply the same formulation of kvl i have got e minus i2 z2 minus the voltage at point d is vd which is equal to zero and i have rearranged this equation which is e is equal to i2 z2 plus vd is equal to uh, vd which is our second equation okay and before i go further into this i want to give you two minute to note down up to this one after that uh, i will complete my rest of the analysis over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned to the channel and please do subscribe our channel okay so the time starts now
once again i want to refresh your mind once again first i have considered as the bridge as a balanced condition so what is the main funda or what is the main characteristic for balanced condition for the balanced condition the detector current is zero or in total i can say that there is no current is flown through this detector path okay which i have written over here so from this uh, expression i have got the voltage at point b and point d will be same as there is no current is flown in between this b and d point so i can say that the voltage at point b and voltage at point d will be same so from this condition i have got this is my second condition and next condition is we need to find out the exact conditioning of this balanced condition or the balanced or the exact equation to say that the bridge is in the balanced condition so to get that sort of relationship i have applied the kvl equation for our line av so the total voltage which is our e voltage and this one is i1 z1 minus i1 z1 and the voltage at point b is equal to vv which is minus vv is equal to 0 and i have rearranged this equation and have got the equation number 1 similarly for the same consideration the total voltage e and for this path which is i uh, for this one so minus i2 z2 and the voltage at point d will be vd which is minus vd is equal to 0 and i have taken e is equal to this one so for the equation 1 i have got this is our e and for the equation 2 i have got this is our equation e also so these two voltage are same over here so without wasting any time if i want to find out the relationship in between this point one or for the equation one and two i have got both this expression the same voltage or excitation voltage are there which is this relation over here so if i try to establish the relation which is i1 z1 plus vb which is equal to i2 z2 plus vd okay as the same source is applied for both this path so both this equation I have got this one is E is equal to this one and this one is E is equal to this one and if I make an arrangement or if I clearly see that the right hand side of the equation if I do compare these two equation or equation 1 and 2 I have got this is my perfect equation over here so what is the relation for that the relation is what is the relation in between our 1 and 2 the relation will be that i will establish over here okay and i have got the i1 z1 plus vv is equal to i2 z2 plus vd and i can see that the vv is equal to vd okay so i1 z1 so i have got the vv which is vv and i2 z2 and vd is equal to vv so i can write or i can replace this vd value with vv as the vv and vd or the voltage at these two point are same so the vv vv will cancel each other okay so vv vv will cancel each other so this is our first condition of balanced circuit which is i1 z1 is equal to i2 z2 okay and uh, what is the equation from over here the equation is very simple okay so what is the i1 z1 i1 z1 means if i do apply the looping portion over here or kvl for this path which is plus or minus a minus i1 z1 and this one is fed back to this voltage which is plus e1 which is equal to zero so ultimately i have got e1 is equal to i1 z1 okay similarly for our this path the voltage is for this one which is minus i2 z2 and it will fed back to the same path which is 
plus e2 which is is equal to 0 so what is the value of e2 e2 means ultimately i2 z2 okay so e2 means i2 z2 and u1 means i1 z1 okay so i can write the balanced equation or i can modify the balanced equation as this one is e1 and this one is e2 over here so this is our first balanced condition over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel okay i want to repeat this portion once again i have got the equation one and two and both these equation are e is equal to something okay and i have Compare these two equation and have got the relation which is i1 z1 and i2 z2 which are equal keeping in mind or considering the factor which is vv is equal to vv vd and i have eliminated the vv and vd factor from both the side of the equation and i have got to the relation which is i1 z1 and i2 z2 and i have shown you that that i1 z1 means e1 and i2 z2 means e2 okay and i have completed my promise over here and as i repeatedly tell you once again indian brothers are always aiming to clearly describe all these details or all these concepts over here and i don't skip a single step over here that is the main mantra for indian brothers okay that is why i uh, keep on making this exciting and conceptual videos for the convenience of our viewers for our students for our audience for our engineers over here so please do subscribe our channel if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and please do subscribe our channel okay and uh, do spread this type of conceptual videos towards the larger communities towards your engineering friends that will be better for us to connect in between our uh, in between our friends and in between our engineering friends and there are a lot of knowledges are involved over here i do believe that teaching is always our two-way traffic if i want to give you uh, something that will feed back or that will feed back as a reward for me and i am charged to make this type of conceptual videos for your own convenience over here and uh, i want to give you 2 minute to note down up to this one and after that i will conclude or i will complete the rest of the ac bridges concepts over here so the time starts now
I think uh, you have all understood uh, the idea behind this balanced condition. So I can see that I1 Z1 is equal to I2 Z2, which ultimately give us the two voltage for our arm Z1 or for our impedance arm Z1 Z2. The voltage is E1 and the voltage is E2. So for the same voltage condition for the arm 1 or the arm 2 or for the E1 and E2. So this is our past basic condition for our balanced circuit condition. Okay. And how do I get this balanced circuit condition or balanced AC bridge circuit condition that I have shown in my previous part of the video. Okay, so moving on towards the next part of our portion over here. Right now, if I do consider the point B over here, I can see two point. One point is going in this way and this is our another point which is I3. Here the current is I3. And for this one, the current I1 is entering over here. Okay, so this is our, say, this is our point I1. Okay, and I have got this is our detector current which is equal to zero. So, as the detector current is zero, so the same current is flown or the same current is been produced which is entered at point V and leaving at leaving and the its name as I3. So, I can see that or I can say that or I can give you the expression which is I1 is equal to I3. I want to repeat this portion once again. Here, the current is entering as I1. And as the no detector current is flown through this path, so I can say that the same current or same amount of current is flown uh, towards point V and it is leaving at point V. So I1 is equal to I3 over here. Why do I say that? As the no detector current is flown through this path. So I can see that or I can say that the expression over here which is I1 is equal to I3. Similarly for this path also as there is no detector current is flown through this path I can say that I2 is equal to I4. Okay so similarly for our point D condition or the this condition I can see that or I can say that the current is I2 is equal to I4. Okay, and the next one is very simple. If I do apply the KVL for this overall loop for path, for path ABC, for path ABC, what is the equation? The equation is the same total voltage which is E, E minus for this path, the voltage drop for Z1 is I1 Z1 if I do apply the KVL for this one which is minus I3 Z3 and the current is flown in this way and it has ended at this point over here. So which is equal to 0. Okay. I want to repeat this portion once again. I have considered this ABC path over here and if I do apply the KVL uh, through this closed path. Here, this is our voltage E, this one is I1, Z1, this one is I3, Z3 and it actually fades back over here and uh, the amount of current is, here the current is entering as I, here the feedback current is also I, okay? So, which is fed back and it came back towards our source over here. So, if I do apply the KVL for this path here, the I current has divided into two paths. One is I1 and this one is I2. And I have only considered the upper portion path over here. And if I do apply the KVL for this path, which is total voltage E, this one is minus I1 Z1, this one is I minus I3 Z3, which is, which is is equal to zero. And here you can see that here the same current is added and the same current I is come out from this point and it will fade back towards our source. So this is our KVL equation over here. And I can say that I have got I1 is equal to I3. So in the place of I3, I should write the current as I1. 
Okay, so the equation is E minus I1 Z1 I1 Z1 and this one is minus I1 Z3 which is equal to 0. So what is the expression of our I1? I1 means our total voltage E divided by Z1 plus Z3. So this is another form of equation and if I take this equation as 1. Okay. Similarly, for our uh, for this lower path over here, so what is the equation? The equation is, uh, I think I should erase this portion. I think I should erase this portion to have some space over here. Uh, please note down this portion over here. I want to give you one minute to note down this portion over here. After that, I will eliminate this path and like to would like to come out this path equation over here so i want to give you one minute for that First of all, I have taken this upper path and I have applied the TTL for this ABC path over here. Uh, and this is our total voltage E and this one is I1 Z1, this one is I3 Z3. So I have applied the TTL equation over here and ultimately I have applied this condition as I1 is equal to I3 as no detector kind is flown through this detector path over here. So the same current I1 and I3 are same. So I1 and I3 are ultimately same over here and have replaced the value in our equation and have got the equation which is I1 is equal to E divided by Z1 plus Z3. Okay. For similarly for the path which is ADC, what is the equation? I should erase this two line over here to understand or to get the KVL equation for the path ADC. So what is the KVL equation for our ADC? The for ADC path for this path which is ADC. Okay. Here the same voltage E is applied over here. So by using the KVL equation over here which is E. For this path I have got minus I2 Z2. For this path which is I2 Z2. For this path and for this path I have got minus I4 Z4 and uh, the total current I is flown through this path and it will head back towards our source over here so which is equal to zero okay and ultimately if I do apply this relation which is I2 is equal to I4 so what is the equation the equation is I2 means what is the equation 
द इक्वेशन इज ई डिवाइडेड बाय z2 plus z4 i want to repeat this portion once again i have applied the kvl for this lower path or for the adc path uh, for this adc path over here and if i do apply the kvl for this path so what is the equation the equation is total voltage e minus i2 z2 for this one minus i4 z4 and ultimately the total current is fed back towards our source over here which is is equal to 0 and if i do apply the condition which is i2 is equal to i4 and have rearranged or i have applied this in my equation i have got e i2 is equal to e divided by z2 plus z4 so this is our equation 2 okay and finally if i do put this i1 and i2 expression in this balanced equation I will ultimately get the final balanced relationship over here which is universal and which equation is very very important for all AC fundamental bridges over here and that relation is very very fundamental and which is very very applicable for every universal bridges or every bridges whether the bridge are AC or DC, that does not matter over there. The relationship uh, is very, very important over here. If I put the I1 and I2 over here, I will get the universal equation over here. I can, I can say that equation as universal as I can apply that equation for both the DC and AC operation for every AC bridges or every DC bridges over over there. Okay, so if I do put the value of I1 and I2 in this equation, so what is the equation? Let us do that. So what is the equation over here? I should find out this one. So I should erase this portion over here as I have got the value of current of current which is I2 and I1 and if I do put this value of I1 and I2 in this equation what is the equation so let us do that so I1 Z1 which is, is equal to I2 Z2 okay and if I put the value of I1 over here and put the value of I2 over here so what is the relation over here the relation will be look like this one for I1 which is E divided by Z1 plus Z3 this one is Z1 Z1 plus Z3 multiplied with Z1 for I2 for this one I have got this equation which is E divided by Z2 plus Z4 multiplied with Z2 okay I no longer require these two equations as I have put the value of I1 and I2 in this basic equation over here. So I should erase these two equations to get the final expression over here. And I have called that, that expression as universal as for every balanced bridges or whether the condition or whether the source is AC or DC, I can do apply or I can apply that formulation over here okay so that is why i can call that equation as universal so i can eliminate the the e and e over here so what is the take i have got z1 divided by z1 plus z3 and in the right hand side i have got the expression which is z2 divided by z2 plus z4 Okay, and if I do cross multiply this equation, what is the relation? I have got Z1, Z2 for this one and uh, for this one, Z1, Z4, this one is completed. And what is in the right hand side? I have got the Z1, Z2 plus Z2, Z3. Okay, so ultimately I have got uh, these two relation cancelled as Z1, Z2, Z1, Z2 will cancel each other 
and what is the final expression that I have got which I will call this expression as universal as I can put this expression over here okay so what is the expression the expression is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 okay so this is our universal expression over here and I want to repeat this portion once again I have just placed the value of i1 and i2 over here and have simplified the expression over here and after simplification I have got the expression which is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 okay and for every balanced condition or every balanced bridges I have applied uh, this equation over here and have got the same sort of expression over here that is why for any bridge circuit this expression of this relationship is very very important over here please note down this expression and I can say or I will call this expression as universal relationship as for every AC or DC bridges I can do apply these bridges over here of course all these things are in the balanced condition or I have considered the bridge at balanced condition okay so what is the relation for our Winston bridge Winston, for the Winston bridge instead of instead of uh, the Z1 and Z2 I have considered the resistance so what is the value for that the equation will be this one R1 R4 is equal to R2 R3 the same expression over here so this one is for our DC bridge operation or for Winston bridge operation and for our AC bridge operation I have got the expression which is Z1 Z4 is equal to Z2 Z3 and what is the expression or what is the name of this Z Z means impedance so impedance of arm 1 multiplied with impedance of arm 4 which is nothing but the and if you do apply or if you do multiply this factor which is z1 multiplied with z4 which is nothing but equal to z2 for arm 2 and z3 for arm 3 so multiplication of these two impedance value over here and I have got the perfect balanced condition for AC bridges so this one is for DC bridges and in the lower part this one is for the AC bridges over here hope you have understood my total analogy over here if you still have any doubts let me know in the comment section below hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel and please do subscribe our channel okay I think I have totally given you the exact idea or exact way to understand any type of concept or any type of conceptual problems over here and I have given you each and every step over here okay that is why I keep on asking you to do support me please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with our channel because this type of hard work are or should be paid okay or should be uh, evaluated or should be valued by all of you so it is up to you to decide that I am going to give you all concepts over here so it is up to you to support me please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned to the channel so that's it thank you and goodbye